Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Thank you for coming back to the channel, y'all. As always, salutations and greetings. Now we finna talk about Nene Child. Now, I went over on her Instagram page. She don't have nothing on her page but public figure. She don't have hashtag, discrimination hashtag, uh, what do you call it? Uh, hmm, what's what I was trying to find? What hell, blacklisted, blackballed, whatever. She ain't saying none of that. Everything's clear. She just got public figure up there. I was like, okay. They settled with Nene. Great, 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 great. Okay, but we don't want to see, say, a month or two down the road, you come back with some bullshit. Okay? We don't want to see that. We it's, The whole thing is just tired and through at this point. Tired and through. We hope you got enough to keep your mouth shut. And we don't have to hear about it in social media again. And I guess you got enough money also to pay off Nayoni's debt he have to his wife and whatever she was trying to sue you for. Okay? You got enough money to do that. So in a sense, let's see. You lost your credibility with some of your fans. You wasn't thinking about anybody else per se uh, when it came to your lawsuit, but you... Um, then you don't pay for a man, which is him. Because his wife don't really probably want him back. She could care less. Or maybe it was a, a, a what do you call it, a joke between them two that they would get you. Kind of like a store money from you or something to that degree. And you fell for it. But then you have Peter to blame for that. But then, no, you have yourself to blame for that because you didn't necessarily have to hook up with him and go public and say, this is your man. Even though we found out later on that your man's not free to be with anybody legally. Okay? Because he's still married. But how you say separated from his wife. But she's still there. Probably will always be there. But you bought a man. You didn't build a man, but you bought a man, okay? Which is just the same worst thing you could do for yourself. So, Nanny, what is going on, girl? You done told us. You had us at the edge of our seat trying to figure out this lawsuit, girl. Did you settle? Did they finally came to somewhere in the park you were hoping they would roll to? Roll and set you up. I ain't going to say for life. Cause we don't know when we're going to leave the world. But set you up where you can live comfortable. In what you call yourself. A living arrangement that you were accustomed to. And you still want to do that. Now. Whether or not it's alleged. <laughs> that you will seek jobs after this. I don't know, but we can say, if you took that money, baby, you can't say to net, you can't say nothing. You probably got a gag order, don't sign all kind of clauses that if you say this, that, and the third, or anything to, or remotely come close to what we had agreed upon, we will stop paying you. Okay, so that's gonna be hard for you because you love running your mouth, and to the fact that if you don't get opportunities to work in celebrity or uh, the celebrity entertainment world you can't go be pissy mad and put everything out on social media because they paid you for your silence okay unless you want to come out and tell us anything else but with that clean sweep you did on your instagram account girl please girl bye bloop okay 
You were self-centered. You was only thinking about yourself. You weren't trying to make no uh, improvements at the Bravo camp because you couldn't. Who are you to tell another industry, organization, business what to do? Okay? Like I said, you had some on them. They had some on you. And y'all just made it to be a truce. So, again, don't want to hear about, oh, Bravo, True Entertainment. Uh, they are uh, running you into the ground to where you're going to be homeless because they don't blackball you. But like I said, you let all the shit play out in public. So anybody that has any salt to them, they would think long and hard trying to employ you because you would probably be looking at every little thing on a microscope that you can get to sue them down the road, allegedly. Now let's get on with this Brazilian butt lift. Now... The only problem area that I can see, but I really can't even see it at your age that you are, that that would be a big problem. But, Nina, you can't keep up with the younger crew. You can't keep up with the younger crew. Your body's getting old. It develops and it's shown several different ways. But I think you got a tummy tuck because your belly seems to be a little bit smoother, flatter than what you're saying. Now, you said you got a butt lift. Can't nobody tell that you got it, uh, Nene. Can't nobody tell. So that either is a good thing or is a bad thing. However you want to choose it. Now, Portia, we know she done got something plumped up with her butt, okay? And she was trying to uh, show us, even though she's saying it was homegrown fed. No, it wasn't. That was steroid at its best, okay? And probably a little other something, something in there. So, we could tell when Portia did some work, even though she trying to say, no, it did not happen that way, allegedly, or whatever. But, we, I don't know what's with your butt, but it seems like the same butt that we've been seeing. So, I don't know, maybe the, the plastic surgeon took advantage of you, or made you, in theory, look like you had had something done, but you really didn't. Because we can't tell, Nene. Like I said, it could be a good thing. That somebody work is just that damn good that you can't tell. But um, I don't know. We're not easily fooled. We're not easily bamboozled in a sense for you to tell us what really happened. Because we know you a liar. You lie. You lie. You lie. You lie. Okay. Until you can get your way. And then this is something you felt you had to do to be able to secure what you felt you would do. All right. But that's all I have. I guess, you know, she can't go out the end no more. She can't make no derogatory, defamination type insults hurled at him or any of the franchises built under the umbrella of Bravo. Okay? That's the only thing I'm saying, baby. That's the only thing I'm saying. So, you ain't said nothing. You don't set your ass down. You don't clear it up. Spotless. Uh, your Instagram account where it's not reflecting anything derogatory or defamed that you can throw at Bravo Entertainment. Truly original and all its partners. Okay? So now we're back on your bazillion butt lift, mini butt lift or whatever. The people out there saying they can't see it, Nene. It's almost like it never ha happened. But we saw you at, well, we saw you in theory. You were dressed. Okay, you were dressed to get something done to you. They even had you in a little operating room, and it had stuff covering you. Now, we didn't see any, like, push, push, pull, pull, like with the suction taking out that fat. We didn't even see an incision going on. So all of it could just be hearsay. You played with us. Okay, you tried to hook, wink, and bamboozle us. Because you were just up right at the next day and everything was cool, fast, and a hurry. So, and then you said, so yourself, you didn't do something he told you not to do. Uh, yeah, you went on and did it anyway. I mean, did you have to keep up with Yon Nayoni? Why wasn't he there with you? Why was he not being filmed with you, taken under this uh, anesthesia? Now, you know, it's 50-50, you can go on anesthesia and they can push it too hard. And be trying to, you know, revive your behind back to life, to this plane of existence. But he wasn't there. He wasn't there for you. It seemed like you arrived by yourself. You went through the process of getting a butt lift by yourself. 
Uh, and like I said, going under the knife can be 50 50. You can come back or you may not come back. But it was your choice because you signed the papers and you felt like you had a good lease on life. Okay? But we're trying to figure out now did he tell you, meaning Ioni, did he tell you get some work done, girl, and you felt insecure and felt you needed to do that? Did you get your services free? Since you call yourself being the ambassador, but yet you didn't do anything he told you to do. Or one thing he told you to do, you didn't do it. So you're not compliant. You're kind of non-compliant. Still want to do what you want to do. Okay? But it's called recovery. It's called getting yourself back to normal after having surgery. But you didn't too much want to care or anything about that. You just threw caution to the wind. And you want to do what you want to do. And like I said, we can see results with Portia. But we can't see no results of what you probably had done to yourself, Nene. We, we can't see it. But y'all, that's all I got for this particular video. Do y'all think she actually went under and had a Brazilian butt lift? Or you think she got that, that stomach flattened? Which one you think? Because you know what, Nene, she going to never tell you the truth. She sure is not. That's not what she do. That's not who she is. That's why she's in the situation that she's currently in now. Where they don't gag ordered her. And you know that Nene liked to talk. She liked to put everything on social media. She liked to blow everything up. But with this. Where she had to come to a reconciliation with how she felt about the company she formerly worked for. And Andy Cohen. And Kim Zosiak Berman. Okay. But that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought. About this situation. About the butt lift. As well as Nayoni. And um, her changing her. Social media stance. Where it's just clean. It's just a clean. Um, description of everything on her channel. Hmm. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.